this is our slot where we tell you the do's and the don'ts before you get married. And uh, even while you're in there already, uh, we try to help you uh, generate bliss, eternal bliss in your marital relationship. You know, marriage, they say it's a lifelong commitment. You know, it's an engagement that you take for the rest of your existence on this planet. It's like a seed that you sow. It needs nourishment. It needs grooming. It needs tending to be able to grow. Now, if you don't do all of those things, we are preparing a recipe for disaster. Welcome, Kenneth. Thank you very much, Divine. Good morning to you and to our viewers. Thanks for coming once again. My pleasure to always be here. Right, and uh, a couple of people love it. I, 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 the last testimony I had for this week was that, well, because we watched your show the other day and uh, the counselor told us a couple of things, I had to record that part of the show on my phone and send it to my wife who had left the house because of anger and she has come back. Wow. And so that's saying thank, thank you. I'm not going to call your name, don't worry, right? <laughs> but I know you. <laughs> That's Thank you, you're doing great, great, great stuff for Cameroonians. I'm happy that the little we're doing is uh, you know, registering one result or the other, so it's, it's good to hear and it's encouraging too. Right, another guy was asking me, uh, why didn't he come with Madame the last time? We needed to hear <laughs> them say those nice <laughs> words again. <laughs> uh, and he concluded by saying, uh, that's the best confession I heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that was uh, nice. Thanks, thanks sincerely for doing all what you're doing. We thank our moment. viewers also for the compliments. At least it, it gives an impetus to right it to does. keep moving ahead. To at least the little we're doing is not falling on on rock. Right. It's falling at least where some fruits are being produced, and it's good to to know. Right. Before we move on, right, I need to. I'm not leaking any information here, but Tato Kenneth here is a multi-capped personality which means he is a motivational speaker if you are stressed up if you are depressed you can come to him if you need advice on financial uh, transactions I'm talking about banking go to him if you have a book you're writing I'm out I'm working on my book oh. if you have a book you're writing and you have problems continuing he is an author go see him he'll give you some of those tricks but he comes to us because we want to keep your marriage intact. And today we're going to be discussing uh, romance as an ingredient for a blissful relationship. Yeah, I think it's week before last we began uh, discussing here and we said the, the present moment is uh, actually a challenge to many people because couples who were used to leaving the house in the morning, separating and coming back yeah. on in the evening, yeah they are confined and stay almost all day long together and if care is not taken for them to try to see how to rather solidify their marital bond they will tend to rather drift apart mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we started sharing a few tips on how to really have a successful marriage which we shared uh, quite a couple the last the week before last last week and today we we think uh, we should talk about romance. Um. Yeah, yeah. Before before we get there, and be mm. because you mentioned what you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, we're living these trying moments. There's confinement, uh, there's curfews, uh, lockdowns, and so on. So people are bound to stay at home. It does probably does not happen in Africa the way it happens elsewhere across the world. But there are cases of rising, rising brutality, especially against women, in France as a result of the confinement. There's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of stress, men tend to transfer the aggression. Uh, it results into beating up their wives and so on. Actually, I think uh, that comes to buttress the fact that choosing to discuss on this at a time like this was a good idea for Perfect us. To stuff, yeah, right. because uh, it is sad to say that if you look at it, it's true that uh, we don't want to be gender biased, but when you look at the state of things from a very long time ago, women have often been victim in relationships and uh, men tend to exercise their ego and their, you know, their manly authority on them, like the case you saw cited in France. So if it gets to where, under pressure, you tend to transfer the pressure on your, on your wife, it's a, it's a bad thing, yeah, because um, what makes a man is the ability to control himself right. in the midst of that pressure, yeah. Even the Bible says that somebody who has mastered to control himself is more than somebody who has taken a city. Somebody who, who, can, who is in charge, who can rule a city. So it means that an individual who can't control himself, 
will be as loose as a city without gates, okay. which can be attacked at any time right. by the enemy. And okay. Jesus put it this way that it's not what enters a man that defies the man, but what comes out of the man. So the arrows that come at you, there are some of me that you just receive them and keep. Uh, I have uh, a friend who used to say that when people throw stones at you sometimes, gather them and be keeping. One day they will pass and identify the that they, <laughs> they threw at you. <laughs> so uh, that you, 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 you know, assault your wife because she, you know, knocked or something or because of the pressure is a very bad thing, which I think our men listening to us would turn up a new page if they've been doing that. Right. Uh, it's yeah. not only men, you know, <laughs> flogging the women. Women are also harassing the men, right? In their own way. Right. In their own way. They have right. their own yeah. way. Very serious one, too, that right. they harass men. So I think this advice goes to, it cuts across and goes to all couples. And the chosen to marry is good to really see how to work out so that your relationship is at least blissful and not full of uh, that rancor which we experience most often. You heard him cite uh, Jesus Christ, right? I forgot that one. He's also a man of God, right? <laughs> so let's talk about romance. What, what's romance in the first place? You can keep the children there, right? He's decent in the way he talks about it. When Jones will come here, take the kids away. What's romance? <laughs> okay, I think uh, <coughs> romance has to do much with uh, an appeal to somebody's feelings, that is getting somebody to your spouse to see to get your spouse to be emotionally attached more emotionally attached to to you so a romantic couple will be a couple who, who share feelings who nest their feelings to to really uh, you know feel for one another to to, to be so much into one another right. i bring this across because uh, most people always misunderstand the issue of romance and link it only to the act of sexual intercourse mm -hmm. which is not true keep the children <laughs> there this is going to be decent yeah there's not there's, there is there's not going to be any re no alarm no alarm <laughs> Go ahead. It, it can be there so i was saying that uh, romance is not necessarily hooked to the sex act of sexuality and uh, rather sexuality is an a no, subset right, okay yeah, it's, a, it's a subset of of romance yeah it's a subset of romance so romance has to do with those activities those uh, attitudes that a couple adopt in order for them to build their marital bond and say divine, divine is as old as he is and the wife keeps on calling him ba baby that is right? what that is it and uh, our african men are so are so good at that you know <coughs> where <laughs> There are people who say, in fact, we are 15 years in marriage today. Well, which what the romance is for what? Okay. Them, yeah. And you see somebody who have uh, Pauline, Pauline, uh, Josephine, <laughs> uh, Esther. Yeah. Yes. Where, where my food is. Yes. Ah. And, you know, <laughs> no, no, no romantic way of yeah. getting, you know, because uh, when your loved one calls you some names, it, it, there, is a, there is a message it transmits. There is a kind of music it plays in the soul. Mm -hmm. and it keeps the person more rom more emotionally attached to his or her spouse but if you are married and in your marriage it is difficult for you to have ever had some kind of appellations and all of that it sounds baby darling mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and when, when we have time we'll be able to talk here uh, in future on on temperaments and uh, <coughs> there are people whose natural way of behaving <coughs> appeals so much for, 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 for romance. There are people who are, in fact, they are romantic. All they need in a relationship is for you to, you know, give them that attention because that's one of the aspects of, right. of romance. Give them attention. The, the, in fact, these people I'm talking about, they are called sanguines. You give them attention. Right. You, 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 in fact, you, you, you praise them often, compliment them often. They feel so loved. They feel so emotionally attached. But this kind of people, if you don't, when you don't do that to them, they feel that you are just treating them anyhow okay. and they will not be able to, uh, to ab uh, emotionally attach themselves to you as their spouse and they won't be able to you know deliver the best of them these people uh, they can be very sacrificial in a relationship because mm -hmm. they, 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 they w when when they articulate romantically they feel like you know the the, 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 the whole world is is, is re revolves around them and can put in their best so uh, a couple begins on call it a, a, a low footing mm -hmm. a low gear when i say a low gear i'm talking about uh, a situation in which they they, they they find themselves they don't they don't struggle too much to to, to, to love 
But as time goes on, there's that familiarity uh, factor that starts coming in. When they start getting familiar with one another, the difficulty they'll be having is that they'll start taking one another for granted. All right. Yeah, and when it so happens, the good names they used to call one another when they were still courting, when they were still engaged, and in the early years of their marriage, they no longer do that. The little, little gifts and the, all the other things they used to do in order to keep the relationship aflame, they were no longer involved in such. And it is going to now get to a point where the other person was like, okay, especially if it is not, if it is mutual, mm -hmm. it is even easier to handle. But if one is romantic and the other is not, there's trouble already right. coming. Right. See those suspicion coming. sets in. And, uh, suspicion sets in, or if suspicion does not set in, the person will try as much as possible to 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 to, to appeal to the romantic uh, behavior of the other one, which is which will not be forthcoming, mm -hmm. and the other person will all start getting frustrated. And when you start getting frustrated in a relationship like that, it's so it's, it's so bad. Right. It's so right. bad. Uh, the 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 way a couple is supposed to keep their 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 romantic life aflame is. They should le learn to, you know, they should learn to, 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 to talk to one another. Okay. Somebody said, if I didn't love my wife, I wouldn't have married her. So why does she want me to tell her all the time I love her? It's a wrong, uh, in fact, this, uh, it is, it's like m most African men. That's, it's like most African men. Mm -hmm. So it is good. Say it to your spouse over and over and assure your spouse of your love for him or her. That is romance. The couple should learn from time to time to, you know, spend time together. Okay. If for nothing, spend time together. For no just, in fact, you may not have any serious thing to discuss, but just spend time together. Yeah, go, go walk, go to the public parks and just yeah. take a walk and discuss two take of you. Take a walk, right? just two of you. In fact, when you just keep the kids aside, just have time for two of you to sit and, and mm -hmm. just be in the company of one another. When you do that, it, it helps to build the bond. It helps the two minds and the two souls or the two hearts, I want to say, to, you know, Reconnect. connect better. Yeah, right. to connect better. Because in the first place, what brought two of you together was at least an emotional attachment, okay. which must be nursed. I like the figure of speech you used in the introduction, that it is, the marriage is like, you know, uh, you said it's a, a fruit, a seed. a seed, a seed you plant, and you have to nurture it. Mm -hmm. If you don't nurture it, it doesn't grow by accident. It doesn't grow just because it was planted. It has to be nurtured. It has to be manured for it to actually grow and, and bear the, 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 the desired fruits. When people are in a relationship, two people are, you know, a, a couple. When a couple cannot, you know, pick out themselves. When I say pick out themselves, separate themselves to, 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 to continue on the path which they began on from the onset. There are pressures of life, as you said. There are people who pressures who come from left and right to <laughs> in laws. Yeah, in laws <laughs> and you know and corona and other things all right. <laughs> <laughs> and telephone <laughs> crisis and all other things to you know mm -hmm. to put them under that kind of tight pressure. So romance is very important for them to keep their relationship aflame. They they should move out together. They should talk to one another. And importantly, they should learn how not to be, you know, not, they should be when I say vulnerable to, to one another. What do I mean by being vulnerable to one another? Please, yeah. yeah, you are in a relationship, don't be a king Kong. Okay. When you say yes, nobody can say no. All it's right. a bad thing. It's be flexible. Right? Be flexible. There are, right. times, there are times you can sacrifice what you like so that your spouse is, is kept at, at ease. Mm -hmm. Just sacrifice some things which should be very good for you. Just be vulnerable. You know, when you we sacrifice certain things so that your spouse is, uh, is is kept at ease, it builds the emotional attachment more and more because the person feels you you value him or her. All right. But if it's that when you say it, it is completed. It is in fact it is do a done deal. Nobody can say anything. It is not good. So couples should learn to be vulnerable. Don't be don't be don't be a mighty man or a mighty woman in a relationship. Try as much as possible to lie low for one another and another aspect of romance is as a, a, a couple they should learn as much as possible to cuddle one another yeah cuddle one another is I was, I was going to come to that it's yeah. like you pulled it from my lips right yes i'm yes. going to ask you uh, do you kiss your spouse in front of your kids well, I will, I, will, I will discourage it in front of the, of the kids because... Um, That's setting an example, showing them what they should do when they grow up. It depends on, 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 on the age of the kids, though. All right. Because uh, 
there are times in the lives of the kids that the parents play the role of a referee. There are times they play the role of a coach. Mm -hmm. There are times they play the role of a co-player. So when they have reached to a place where you can play the role of a co-player with them, that can be possible. <laughs> All right. But All if right. it's still the time where you are... <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I get mm, it. So right. I get you, it. you have to watch out because <laughs> when, when they see you do it, they may want to go and practice it. Mm -hmm. And kissing is permitted only for married people. All right. Yes. If you're not married, you're not permitted to kiss. Even if you're in courtship... <laughs> Don't kiss. Why are you hearing to kiss? Okay. Wait, when you get married, you kiss, you can, you can, you can decide and take three days continuously to be kissing. There's somebody watching you uh, chuckling. I'm sure he's just chuckling because that <laughs> goes right down to his heart. It's called Tan Fu Jones. <laughs> when he comes here, I'll ask him a uh, couple of questions. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Ah, oh, damn. I hate to see you go, but then uh, <laughs> you, we need to let you have the hook because you have other operations you are committed to actually thanks sincerely and please take our greetings uh, very fervent greetings to your beloved wife and uh, the entire family i will do so he she sends her greetings especially to you and to the entire crew when i was coming this morning and please tell her that our people are begging that she should come back again <laughs>